Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair coverage of select items from CES 2016. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, joined by my pal, Triad Ninja. And today we're talking about a personal drone that you can sit in, tell it where to go, and it will fly you there. It's developed by a, chi a pair or several Chinese entrepreneurs uh, from a company called Yang Yang. It's, a, it's E H A N G. And um, Yang Inc. has designed this personal little drone that fits one person that has a little touchscreen control where you can tell it where to go and it will drop you off like a self-driving car, but for the air. And if you don't necessarily trust it because you fear Skynet, there's a handy little like iPad controller on the ground that you can have your trusted assistant who will probably not murder you um, to control it for you and take you where you need to go. And I think it's pretty cool, but I mean, for 300 grand, that's a pretty expensive personal, like, car that doesn't fly quite as far. Although, I mean, the company did raise 42 million to, uh, to build it, so that's pretty cool, but I'm not the one who's quite as interested in this as, like, Triad brought this up, because this is sort of his video. So, this thing, starting off, Already seems like a giant death trap to me. I mean, you have the propellers that aren't even guarded by any like kind of side guard like you see on some drones or whatever. It there are apparently that there's no controls in the cockpit to be able to take control of it. I mean, if there are, fine, but it's just you know it's supposed to be some autonomous drone that just flies you from one destination to another. This just does not seem safe at any point or any way, shape, or form. Even if this does become a thing, I don't see the FAA allowing this thing anywhere in the air anytime soon. Now, well, if they do, they're probably going to want you to make sure you have a pilot's license to fly around with it in case of shenanigans. Yeah, now, that isn't to say that the whole, aside, you know, aside from the fact that, you know, the whole, we haven't perfected the whole auto-driving flying thing yet. Well, I mean, we've kind of perfected the auto flying. We've been doing it on planes for years. But it does kind of pose an interesting concept in that if this does kind of start making a breakthrough into the market, maybe we could start having, you know, some sort of self-flying cars. Because it, we already know air travel is the safest way to travel because there's less things to hit, less things to worry about. They can communicate with each other so they can, you know, like instead of one having to swerve around the other, that one can just go higher, one can go lower. And then it's air travel, so you're just going directly to your destination, really. You're not really worrying about anything like trees or roads or anything like that. So this... I mean, you know, for the rich person initially, it would just be a great way to get around. And then as time went on, maybe we could eventually like in a few in like 50 or so years, this could actually be a thing where it's just a consumer like middle class everyday thing of, all right, I'm going to work, take this thing to work. And then you just get to automatically go to work that way. I mean, kind of cool. I really like it just because, A, I've always wanted to have a personal helicopter. I mean, who, who wouldn't love doing that? But at the same time, this is. 300 grand, 200 to 300 grand. I'd want the expensive one that has all the safety ticks. Because again, like you were saying, like, one of the things I thought about is like, if someone wants to murder you with this, why not just go fish, fiddle with the iPad? So clearly, you've got to have some methodology here of something's getting wonky, that it can detect a safe place to land, and it can navigate there and put you down on the ground before you get out, if something's happened, walk slowly away, put on some sunglasses, and then the cool explosion happens behind you, and you're safe. I mean, yes, the expensive new helicopter you got has been destroyed, but someone's attempt at doing something, or, you know, misfortune's attempt at have, making your day very bad, were foiled. And that's really one of the things that they've had to address here at CES, is that they've really had to figure out ways to make this safer before people are going to be willing to, well, with their life on the line up in the air. And I mean, at the same time though, like self-driving cars are great. I've always wanted, like, if it, even if this doesn't turn into a self-driving helicopter, I mean, I've always wanted just to, to have some sort of car that drives me to work in the morning. That would just take so much stress, hatred, and like annoyance out of my morning and make me so much nicer of a person. This road rage is the worst villain on today's uh, commute to work in the morning. I mean, I could totally see, like, Mark Zuckerberg buying one of these. He, like, goes outside, sends his kid off to school, he comes back, uh, he goes to his Pilates class before having it fly him over back to Facebook so that he can tell the new, um, Skynet supercomputer where to start taking over all of our lives. And 
I mean, I also kind of want to drive to work in a helicopter and then like scud missile the guy from HR I don't like, but I probably wouldn't do that because, I mean, scud missiles are expensive. You priced those lately? I mean, really. Notice that he talks about the price of it. Not that it's dangerous or that it would be killing somebody, but the price of it. Nothing else would stop them if it wasn't expensive. I mean, we all gotta have priorities, Triad. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is just kind of like a thing of saying like, hey, they have this gigantic drone that you can sit in and it takes you places. It self-navigates, which is kind of scary that it doesn't have controls, but hey, we gotta get there somehow. If a Chinese company does it, good for them. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry, joined by Triad Ninja. We'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and toodles!